Dick Gregory. And let me tell you, I got my, woo, I got my stuff. Let, let me tell you, money is not power. Education is not power. But information is power. <laughs> and if you let people give you bad information, you got bad power. Every time I come to town, I run his culture communication out here on Cascade and get me good power. So I just want to say to you that we're going through some, some strange times, and it's about information. It's not about how much money you got or how many PhDs you got. It's about how much information. Remember, all them folks that put Hitler's thing together, they was educated. All them folks that put the nuclear bomb together, they was educated. All the people who have corrupted this planet was educated. We're talking about information now. The day you was born, you was blessed with a mind. And they've been tricking. And here's where you come to erase the tape. And so here's what I want to say in closing. See this tape here? You can erase it and put something else on it. Or you can do the same thing. Because there's a God consciousness that they can't touch. We can erase it. And I comes back here every time I'm in town to get my tape erased and reset. So I just want to thank the brothers and sisters and all of the folks that work hard to see to it that we can have this information. So culture, communications, and production, I thank you. This is Dick Gregory saying, tell your friends and your relatives, stop by here. This is food for the mind. What you eat, you is. And what you think, you is. And so again, I just want to say thank you. You know what the information is. Um, what we're going to do is basically you in practice what we learned so far I will open new information to you uh, and then we'll try to do a bit of the new information in practice that's how you get your how do you Carnegie Hall practice 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 right so the key is in action not talk uh, this first level of the class is kind of your introductory to this kind of healing technique. Uh, the second level of the class, which begins when we finish this, of course, will be more so just practicing. For those who've gone through part one, we can join together for maybe an hour a week, and all we do is practice. We all chant and take it one. Okay? But this first time, I can give you a sense of what's happening, the philosophy, and kind of the groundwork. And we go from there. All right? <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about the Crystal Palace, uh, which is inside of you, uh, and activating the Crystal Palace. Uh, but before we do anything in Africa, we libate to our ancestors. Uh, I ask you to stand and rise in honor of your ancestors, and simply think of those people from whence you come, those grandmas and grandpas, tuning into their spiritual force. And I remind you, they're not dead. They are not dead. They're simply in a different plane. Uh, the place you go to every time you dream is where they live. That's their address. Uh, you can always talk to them. Okay? So I'll be saying a phrase, Ibashe, which means we honor. Uh, and I actually say, I'll share at the end of these statements saying, and so it is. Ibashe Olojumari, we praise the spring beings. Ibashe Bobo Arisha, we praise all the divine angels. Ibashe Eshu Eshu, we praise the divine tricks to trick us into enlightenment. Ibashe Oya, 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 woman of winds, we actually blow us to heaven. Ibashe to all the Egun, Bobo Egun, Umbelese Olojumari to all the ancestors who sat at the feet of God on earth. Ibashe to all the African ancestors who preserve the rights of the African spiritual systems, the priests and priestesses, we give praise to you. We give praise to these ancestors because they have served humanity, they have served the group and not their own selves. Ibashe to all the Africans born, raised, and buried in the motherland. May your bones and your Body continue to nourish the old country. Ibashe to all the Egu who were stripped from Mother Africa, those who were taken by those of ill will towards us. We do not forget you. 
Ibashe. Ibashe to all the ancestors who were placed in those evil ships of terror. We hear your cries. We see your trauma. May we not forget this. Ibashe. Ibashe to those who were pushed overboard, who jumped, and who are now resting in the bottom of Olokun. Titanic was only one ship. We have many. Okay. May the bones of our ancestors rise from Olokun, the sea god's bottom, and chatter with the sound of your story, Ashi. Ashi. May your descendants say never again. Ashi. Ibashe to all the ancestors of the diaspora, those of South America, Caribbean, throughout Europe and the Arctic. We're all from one mother, Ashi. 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 Ibashe, to our sacred Native American ancestors, we give praise to these spirits who shielded us and protected us, Ashe, in our hour of need. Ibashe, to all the ancestors who built this country, those blacks who were beaten, whipped, hanged, starved, and tortured to build the so-called greatest world power. Ashe. May we receive our just compensants, our 40 acres in the Ashe. Ashe. Ibashe, to all the ancestors of those in this room, Ashe, I give honor to your ancestors because you are here. And this shows that you have strong spiritual connection, Ashe. Ashe. So I'm grateful to your ancestors, Ashe. Ashe. Ibashe ancestors, I pray to you on behalf of the village, Ashe, that we may have discipline amongst us, compassion, understanding, wisdom, and hard work, Ashe. Ashe. Ancestors, I ask that you inspire your children on earth to work as hard for you as they do for the white man's world. Ashe. Ashe. Ibashe, ancestors, may you teach what I cannot teach. May you show what I cannot show. And may you reveal what I cannot reveal. Ashe. 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 And may all those in this room be in tune with the ancestors. And know it is the ancestors that make us black. Not our skin color, not our political orientation. It is our ancestry that makes us who we are. And we activate this treasure, Ashi. May we have a blessed evening this, after this evening and enjoy ourselves with wisdom, positive energy, and health, Ashi. Ashi. My name is Minister Ra Ifakbemi. I'm what's called a Baba Lao, which means a father of mysterious forces, a high priest in Yoruba. And I was trained in the rainforest of Nigeria by a fifth generation Babalao, whose father's 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 all Babalaos. I hope you all can meet him one day soon. We'll take you over to Africa and stay there for a week or so. We have a beautiful compound in the rainforest that I think we all would enjoy. It's American enough where you don't feel too in the bush but bush enough where you don't feel too much in, in the suburbs, you see. It's a beautiful place. I hope we can go there in a couple of years. Okay, let's get to it. We want to thank Sister Gladys. Because with, out of her heart, out of her love, she made for us these posters. You know Black's a visual folk. We like to see stuff, okay? That's why we have hieroglyphs and art all over the place. She made these copies from the book that we're using, which is the Healing Dow book, of which I have not the front cover. Can I see your <laughs> Okay. Yes, mine is a bit overused and has uh, okay. separated from itself. It's this book you want to get. Purchase the book. Uh, you will not rue the fact, okay? Thank you very much. It's called Awakening, Awaken Healing Light of the Dow. Thank you. Okay. As you know, this is my original copy, right? So I'm going to use this again. Thank you very much. Ashi. This picture here is on the front cover. Okay. What is the goal of this class? For you to learn that you have divine force that can heal you inside of you. No money, no pills, no drugs. If you read the introduction to the book, it talked about in China, they had what's called alchemy, where they use certain pills, cinnabar pills, the pearl pill, these kinds of medicines they would take to become immortals. And they learned that those things can kill you, taken to like any drug or any 
medicine that can harm you or not. Um, okay, you know, okay. Uh, so they learned that taking external things is not as good as taking internal things, internal energy. Uh, using what's within you is stronger than using what's without you. So we developed these systems of meditation that are active meditations, not simply sitting on the mountaintop which is actually moving energy. Huh? <clears throat> so, we started with the inner smile, right? Here we have a wonderful person, very happy looking person, smiling to all of her organs and they're smiling back. The function of this was what, folks? To tune you into your own body. Huh? Some of us know our children better than our own bodies. Right? Our husbands and wives more than our own being. Hmm? So, you want to heal through the smile, uh, through gentle, tender smiling towards yourself. Then we moved into the six healing sounds. Right? Who knows them? Lung. Uh, lung. Lung, exactly. She. Next is what in order? What's the next sequence? Kidneys. Kidneys. Someone is doing their homework. Ooh, like a ghost. Uh, third. Liver. Liver. Feed the ancestors. Liver. Next. Heart. Whose sound is? Aww. Next. Spleen. Whose sound is? more with an H to it, Ooh, like an owl, right? And the sixth healing sound is, who has used them this week? Raise your hands high, probably, huh? Those using divine force, huh? Was it for an ache or pain, or just to practice? Practice. 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 I'll say it again. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice. How do you get to heaven? Practice. Practice, practice, practice. <clears throat> what do you think uh, initiations were in Egypt? What rehearsal? Temple initiations in the pyramids, they were rehearsals for being in heaven once and for all. You see? You must practice now. Huh? It won't come to you out of the sky, huh? Okay? All right. <clears throat> then we learned a bit last week about these, uh, this inner loop of energy, this kind of, uh, these two wires in the body called the microcosmic orbit, okay? Let's run through a practice up to this point. Uh, oh, we'll also open the third eye a little today. We'll suck in some light, okay? And then we'll move into the orbit. All right, so. I'll use first part standing. What's the first part? Inner smile, what you say? Inner smile. First you smile to yourself. Why do we smile to ourselves? Come aware of your organs. Come aware of your organs, and what does the smile do? It makes you feel better. It makes them joyful. Yeah, it brings a spirit of joy about you, huh? So, I'm going to run you through the whole process from smile up to third eye, sucking in some light. Huh? Relax, take your time, take it easy. Huh? Do not force yourself. That's the first rule. Just relax. Huh? How do wise people sit? Yeah. Feet flat, head holding the sky, chin slightly tucked, shoulders slightly, slightly rounded. I'm going to ask you why. You know why I'm asking you all these questions? Because many of us will be having children, right? We have kids, young people. They're going to say, Mommy, why? Why do I have to do this? 
And because of the technology age we're in, the information age, you must be able to answer them. Because today's youth are not like in Africa, where they just obey the elders. They will contest you and challenge you. So you better have it together, huh? Well, son, the reason is because you have 12 spiritual channels in your foot. That's why you must have feet flat on the ground. Oh. Now they will follow. Okay? So, why spine straight? Flow of chi. Shout it out. The flow of chi. The flow of chi. Exactly. Organs get squished this way, organs are released. Relax this way. Huh? Why shoulders slightly rounded? It's relaxed, but the real reason is because? Oh. Mm, close. It loops. Oops. Curves. That slight curve pushes the chi forward and around. Mm. If you're like this, it gets stuck. Mm. And you get a lot of headaches, a lot of heat flashes. So you want to slightly curve that, just naturally, so it loops over. <coughs> okay? That heat is called Kundalini Syndrome. Some folks who've done Kundalini Yoga or Yoga get this heat and the head is always hot because it's not being looped back down. Okay? And the hand position. What is the hand position? For males? Right, right hand is what? Sun. Right hand is heaven. Left hand is earth. Sun and moon, right? So men put the sun over the moon. Right? Because males are more like the sun, huh? More fiery by nature. Huh? Women put moon on top of sun. Moon is more internal, more uh, deep. Huh? So moon on top of sun. Huh? <coughs> on lap. Where is your tongue? Your Roof of mouth. Because closes the, closes the circuit. There is a loop of energy that ascends and descends. But they break at the mouth. The tongue connects the two loops. You will find that you're very nervous and scattered. Just put your tongue on your roof, you'll calm down. Because your force flows very naturally then. Okay? <laughs> All right. Any other things we have to cover? No, we're ready. All right, I'd like you to relax. Sitting with the spine nice and straight, but not rigid like a board. Royal and dignified. Huh? Close your eyes. We'll perform three cleansing breaths, which is simply breathing very gently and naturally in and out. Breathe in through your nose, <coughs> out through your nose, Africans, in through your nose, out through your nose. Nice and easy, like you're breathing in a silk thread. Remember, when you breathe in, your stomach swells out. When you breathe out, your stomach falls back in. And just center your being. I ask you in this peaceful state to recall a pleasant moment of your life, a happy time a beach with a loved one, by yourself, just you in nature, a pleasant moment. And see it about three feet in front of you, this scene. Open your inner eye to see this scene. And I want you to get a feeling of pleasure. I want you to tune into the fun of this scene. Bring it to life, use your power, bring it to life. Now see it turn gold, the whole scene turn like a liquid gold color. Now breathe this gold into your third eye piece. As your tongue is upon the roof of your mouth, feel this buttery gold into your third eye. Smiling force, feel it go into your eyes. Relax your optic nerves, your eyeballs. Relax behind your eyes by smiling to them. Say hello. Smile into your cranium, into your face bones. Relax your face bones, your jaw. 
Melt it away with this inner smile. Let this trickle down now into your gums, into your teeth. Relax your teeth, your enamel, your inner teeth, the roots. Heal them of decay. As you let this liquid descend down the throat, relax your throat. Give thanks for the power to speak and express. Love your body. Appreciate your body as you go down to your heart. Let this liquid joy go down to your heart and fill your heart. Smile to your heart. Heal it with your attention. And give thanks to your heart for beating for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Be grateful for this mystery. Let your heart fill with love. Find the love already in your heart. Smile into it. Feel it. Smile back to you. Make a relationship. As you now begin to fill your lungs, fill your lungs with this smiling gold light. Become full. Thank your lungs for breathing and purifying air for you. Make them spongy and soft, kind of pinkish, and dilate it all the way to the top of the lungs. Fill them with life, with courage, and heal yourself, your lungs. Heal your lungs. As you trickle this smile down the right side of your body at the liver, Loosen your liver, angry, angry liver. Relax the liver. Make it smooth and glossy, clear. As you let go of resentment, smile deep into the liver now. We hold so much resentment in the liver. Smile that away, melt it. Now, get a little more of that liver. You will go across the stomach. Smile to your tummy to your spleen and pancreas. And I mean it, give them life. You are master of this body. So give them life. Say, I appreciate you. I want you to keep with me until the end. As you go deeper into the cells of your spleen, pancreas, stomach, healing yourself of ulcers, Worry. Use your minds, African, to heal you. As you go to your kidneys in the back, you wrap your smiling force and keep a slight grin on your face. Go to your kidneys. Relax them. Go deep into them. Give thanks for them. Say hi, kidneys, left and right. Mutt and Jeff, hello. And they smile back to you saying, hello, good to see you. Thank them for flushing the fluids of your body. For following heaven's law to flush for you the fluids of your body. They are so obedient to the law. As you move forward, you move down to your creative center, your sexual center. <clears throat> Women, heal your wounds the seed of life. Be thankful for being feminine, being female. Men, go into your testes. Be grateful for being masculine, for being male. This is the creative center of life where you create both babies and artistically. And use this power wisely. Give thanks as you move back to your third eye. Melting tension in the forehead. Now focus your minds. As you go into your mouth, relax your palate. Feel this liquid gold dripping down your mouth. And please take your tongue and swish it around until you collect heavenly dew. <coughs> Fill your mouth with the heavenly dew. What well, the Tao is called the jade nectar. 
fill your mouth with the heavenly dew, and charge it with positive smiling force. Bring it to life. 